Dang, I'm good. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, well no, we're pro- excited. no problem, Mike. You're a, you're a big uh, director and producer and screenwriter. screenwriter and uh, my first question is, can you get me into anything? <laughs> That's so Hollywood. <laughs> you know, yeah. can you get me on that uh, on that Showtime I Ray Donovan? Trouble is what I can do. Can you good. Get me on Ray no, Donovan. This is no stop it, Mark. This is exactly why that business is like this because everybody wants you f- to get in the business. Well, Everyone wants I mean, a piece of you. But Mike, mm. it wouldn't kill you yeah. to g- give a guy from Poughkeepsie a break, would it? Mm. No. Not at all. Oh, all right, then let's work yeah. it out. Um, you're a horrible actor. You're I'm horrible. A, I'm a horrible actor, but I can play a dead guy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me. Hey, this season we're going to have a lot of dead guys. Trust I'm me. your man. <laughs> he I'm is. Your man. All right. He really is your man, then. All right. Now, Mike, we only have a couple minutes with you, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. but let's talk about your, your new novel called Keep Calm. This is about terrorism, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a bomb that goes off at number 10 Downing Street in, in London. Mm-hmm. Which of course is more or less the White House of England, right. and um, an American cop is there an hour and a half before it goes off, and he quickly realizes he was only brought there as a part of this this business conference, so he could be blamed for it. Mm. And he takes off him and his family. He's with his family, and it's a chase across England. The police, are, the uh, you know, the government's looking for him, and the people that set him up are looking for him to kill him, and there's this young woman inspector of the anti-terrorism unit who is chasing him, and she knows she's sure he didn't do it. Right. Oh. So she now, she, and she knows that someone else is looking for him and trying to kill him. This sounds so like a cool book. Chase, it's, a, it's a it's a cat and mouse chase across mm-hmm. England, and you know it's it's Ooh. just a lot of fun. It's real fast moving. It, right. So now, when this uh, when the book is called Keep Calm once again, Mike Binder. Um, now, when this becomes a movie, Mike, can you get me in that? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? Here's the problem, Mark. Uh-huh. The dead guys in that are British, so it's really, oh. you know. Yeah, but if they're if they're British and they're dead, nobody yeah. can tell if they have an accent or not. Yeah. I can play a dead no, British no, guy. No, they no, die you can't. on the left side over there. Oh, jeez. Really yeah, you no, die on the you, left side. That's you fine. You can't be a dead <laughs> British guy. <laughs> Why not? No, will you just stop it? You're being very rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, Mike. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we think this is really cool, though, that you wrote this book. You are a screenwriter, but have you been working on a novel for a while? I mean, is this your first? My first, yeah. And it was just something I wanted to do. And I knew that I was going to turn it into a movie, but I also knew that I wanted to just write it as just a tell the story completely in the pages of the book and not need actors and mm-hmm. sound design and costumes and yeah. just tell a good story with words. And I wanted to, it was something I'd wanted to do. I read a lot of books and I love thrillers. I love, you know, John Grisham and, oh, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, you know, Lee Child and, you know, all, all that, all that whole genre. I just like it. So I always knew I wanted to try one and, Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm halfway through a second one. Very cool. Now you've you've directed a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. You've worked with a lot of pretty big name actors. Who's the biggest pain in the ass? <laughs> um, the biggest pain in the ass is probably Kevin Costner. But if, yeah, but he's, but he's people a great say guy, that. You know, <laughs> but he's just you know he's, he's an opinionated guy. But yeah, he's, most of the time he's right. Uh, right. You know? Well, yeah. That's, you know, we yeah. kind of I made two movies with him. And, mm-hmm. I'd love to make a third with him. You know, he's he's pretty incredible. Well, now, see, if you hired yeah. me, then I could take over for him uh, and be number one on your right. list. Horrible. Like, yeah, <laughs> let's introduce the world's worst actor <laughs> to my kidding, film Mike. and have it be a huge success. <laughs> now, I'm curious how you're so sure that Mark's a bad actor. Oh, have trust you, me. Have you seen him act? Yes, I have. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> but yeah. if you put me in the right local, role... Local plays and stuff. If, if, yeah. you, if, you, put me in the, if you put me in the right role, mm-hmm. Mike, uh, it would be flawless i'm telling you what you need to do is you got to put me in one of these roles where i'm i'm with a really hot actress and i'm the romantic interest horrible no I'm even just... in real life that doesn't work for him so forget it mike <laughs> no right, so now we're, we're yeah. running out of time here yeah. but mike uh so the book once again is called keep calm where can we get it it it, it came out in stores yesterday oh you know, and it and it's on amazon wow. and um you can get it pretty much anywhere, you know? 
All yeah. right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a I, great read. And I love England. I love London. So I'm really excited to read this. You know, the other thing is I really tried to make the book a trip to London for people that like it and that people that haven't been there. So oh. it is. It's it's a fun for that reason too, you know. Cool. Do you have Looking a website to too? It. Yeah, keepcalmbook.com. All right, give Great. it up for Mike Yay, Bender. Thank you, Mike. Mike, thank you so Sorry. much for being on the show. Yeah, and that this was your worst interview of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. I really appreciate you guys having me on. <laughs> Thanks, thank Mike. Bye bye.